Hey guys, so I just got back from a Halloween party and it was a lot of fun. I came back to pass out candy during the regulatory hours of candy passing in our neighborhood, uh, but then I went back to the party, but that doesn't really matter. Let's talk about standard and why it's so expensive. And I've looked at it, I've actually studied it a little bit, and the reason standard is so expensive is because of the mana base. Um, now you might say, oh, well, why is Jace $80? Well, it's because of the mana base. Now the main problem of having fetch lands and slow lands or whatever, I guess we call them battle lands now. Uh, the main problem of having fetch lands and battle lands is you can play four color. Now a lot of you, probably be like, oh, why is that a problem? Four colors, awesome. The problem is if you're playing four different colors, you're playing the best cards in those colors. Instead of having Crackling Doom be very difficult for you to play, now it's extremely easy for you to play. Uh, Crackling Doom is a card that wanted to reward Mardu, should you have been in the Mardu colors, but now just stay black, not a problem. We can play all the Crackling Dooms we want. And you can play a Mantis Rider, you can play Rhino, and most importantly, you can play Jace. Now Jace, another whole video can be dedicated to him. I just want to focus on the mana base. Fetches and then the Battlelands, they create a system where the fetches are all over $20. The blue ones are around $25, $26. And you know, I don't see them getting particularly cheaper. Um, definitely not anytime soon because people are not going to want to trade them away. They have eternal value. So it's not like, oh, I need to get rid of them before rotation. Uh, it's more like, oh, well, if I don't get rid of them, I don't get rid of them. So fetches are very interesting from that perspective. But the Battlelands, that's what pushed everything over the edge. Now you have decks that are extremely greedy, five color bring to light, and you when you have decks that are playing more colors, more decks will play the best card, which right now is Jace. You can argue Jace is the best card or he's not the best card, but price-wise, if price is any reflection of card demand and card demand being a reflection of uh, how powerful the card is, Jace is the best card right now. So instead of having him in just like a blue Esper, or like, uh, it's, say a Demir or like a, a very small subset of decks being able to use them. Because of the splashability of the battle lands with the fest lands, every deck that's in blue will use them and will play him on turn two probably. So that's the problem of standard and I think Wizards of the Coast knows of this problem because it exists in modern somewhat as well. So I, I don't kind of see I see that people can be extremely greedy and just play good stuff. And when everyone's playing the same good stuff, then something like Jace goes up in price. Um, before Hangaback Walker was reprinted, it was very expensive. And you ask, why is it so expensive? Well, because it's an artifact that can be played in every single deck. Because it can be played in every single deck. The same is happening with Jace. Uh, Jace being a mythic, Jace being a planeswalker, and Jace being, you know, Jace, all contribute to his price being currently what he is at. But the reason standard is so expensive is it always comes back to the mana base. Uh, when you look at Legacy, you got, you know, underground seas, you got uh, volcanic islands. It's, you know, it sucks, but you need four, you need a playset of most of them. We look at modern, yeah, you have the fetch lands, they've been reprinted, that's great. Uh, but then you have shock lands at 10, eight to $10 a piece. You have um, the, I mean, I think Misty Rainforest and Tarn have plummeted in price recently, but there was a time like uh, about a month ago, they were still a hundred bucks. So I don't know, like 80 to 90 bucks and they spiked and people were selling them and they were really happy and then now they're not going to get a reprint anytime soon. Definitely we're not going to see the Innistrad. It would make no sense to see the enemy fetch lands in Innistrad. When you talk about, when you talk about the lands, it's very sad to me. That's what 
the most expensive pieces of the deck typically are. Um, you might be like, oh, well, you know, what about the four Jaces? Well, between, you know, the playset of uh, blue doors, the playset of other colors, I don't even know what Black Jeskai, Jeskai Black runs, but they run a ton of fetch lands. And between all those fetch lands, you, you probably have the same as a playset of Jaces. Uh, and it's you know long term a bet's a much better financial speculation if you will for the fetch lands. So anyway, I I just I believe Wizard of Coast knew this would happen and they still chose to do it. And it's very sad that the most that it's always the lands. I mean, the first thing you learn when you're a Magic player is pick up the lands, pick them up, pick up pick up a playset, and then you'll be fine. I mean that's. And no other game can I consider that Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't even have land or, but Pokemon you have energy cards and it's not like all wise or your, the cards that you need to play um, with are is typically not the most expensive cards in your deck for most other card games. And I'm sure someone will leave a comment below of some card game I've never heard of. And I don't know, it, it just seems like seems kind of like a cash grab to me and I don't know I, I just don't like it when the lands are the most expensive pieces of these decks I mean it's it cannot be right like it just feels bad I get Jace should be his price because he's a mythic planeswalker flip planeswalker who's very good but having like having all your standard lands from the last set cons be 20 bucks or more and having and you need four of them that doesn't feel too good because that's eighty to a hundred dollars a playset of each of these lands that you know supposedly you need five of them. Ick, right? That is very icky to me. Anyway, bye guys.